Elon Musk isn't known for staying in one lane. He either sits at the head or owns six companies. Tesla, SpaceX, The Boring Company, Neuralink, X and X AI, and is a pioneering rocket creator, electric vehicle manufacturer, and all-round maverick. Today we are going to be delving deep into the mind of arguably the most influential businessman to ever live. After thoroughly analyzing every page of Elon Musk's biography by Walter Isaacson and immersing myself in countless hours of his podcasts and interviews, I've identified key patterns and mental models that Musk employs in his thinking. Let's explore these together. The first mental model Elon is known to employ is the fail fast methodology, a concept widely used in software development and project management and a cornerstone in Musk's philosophy. This approach involves rapidly implementing ideas, identifying their flaws, and making relevant improvements before moving on to the next iteration. The emphasis is not on failing, which is merely a byproduct of learning from implementation and gathering practical data. Instead, it's about making more informed decisions and improving with each iteration, rather than wasting time trying to create the perfect product from the start. Musk's journey is marked by a litany of failures, from rockets worth millions exploding at SpaceX to massive recalls at Tesla, his experience with failure is extensive. Yet, Musk's attitude towards these failures is what sets him apart. He prefers quick failures and rapid learning to prolonged deliberation and inaction, a mindset that steers clear of analysis paralysis. Consider the process of starting a YouTube channel. Most will spend excessive time in research and planning, hesitating to take the first step. Musk's philosophy advocates a distinct approach. Diving in and producing videos, even if it's not perfect, then thoroughly analyzing metrics from each video to come up with improvements, evolving with each iteration. This represents a practical lesson in learning through action, rather than excessive planning and missing opportunities. Musk's strategy in SpaceX's rocket and engine design reflects this philosophy. His team rapidly prototypes, tests, fails, revises and tests again, fostering a cycle of innovation through trial and error, instead of wasting time in analysis paralysis, trying to build a perfect rocket that will work in one go. Often seen calmly walking through the debris after SpaceX rocket failures, Elon Musk views what might appear as millions of dollars wasted to the average observer, as billions in potential profit in the form of invaluable lessons learned. For Elon, the balance between theory and practical hands-on knowledge heavily leans towards the latter. So, rather than getting stuck in analysis paralysis, get out there and implement a project or build a product, gather data for improvement, and iterate continuously to outpace the competition. Elon Musk's second mental model for decision-making is inspired by Aristotle, the great ancient Greek polymath. This model, known as first principles thinking, is best understood by listening to Musk himself explain its application. Because it, it's, it's, it's kind of mentally easier to reason by analogy rather than from first principles. But by first principles is kind of a physics way of looking at the world. And what that really means is you kind of boil things down to the most fundamental truths and, and say, okay, what are we sure is true or, or as sure as possible is true? And then reason up from there. Mm -hmm. uh, that takes a lot more mental energy. Um, to reiterate, Musk describes first principles thinking as a method that deconstructs complex problems into their basic elements. Unlike analogical thinking, which depends on existing solutions, this approach begins from scratch and builds upon these fundamental elements. Musk's application of first principles thinking, especially at SpaceX, shows its effectiveness. After becoming a multi-millionaire from selling PayPal to eBay and setting his sights on Mars, Musk's self-education in rocket engineering culminated in a failed attempt to buy rockets in Russia, where he encountered ridicule and high prices. This led him to adopt First Principles Thinking. Musk established the Idiot Index, which compares the cost of a finished product with its raw materials. A high Idiot Index means the finished product is significantly pricier than its components, and therefore there is room for cost reduction. Rejecting the aerospace industry's standard practice of purchasing costly parts globally, Musk opted to produce them in-house. 
This approach was unheard of in the aerospace industry and ridiculed. However, from first principles thinking, Elon understood it was the optimal strategy. This approach resulted in SpaceX making about 70% of the components for the Falcon 9 rocket in-house, greatly reducing costs and revolutionizing the economics of space travel. Musk, using first principles thinking, took a metaphorical sledgehammer to the aerospace industry's cost structure. This innovative approach is a key reason behind SpaceX's present success, contributing to its impressive valuation of $150 billion. So the next time you find yourself constrained by conventional wisdom, take a minute to consider. Are you being held back by wisdom or by meaningless red tape? The final mental model we'll look at today is Machiavellian leadership, a principle of leadership that balances fear and admiration, something Musk seems to have mastered. Driving change at the pace Musk has requires a certain indifference to being disliked, a willingness to discard the old and the audacity to introduce the new. Echoing the words of Machiavelli, who once stated, it is better to be feared than loved if you cannot be both, Elon Musk reflects this philosophy in his approach to leadership. His employees revere him for his vision and the profound impact he's had across multiple sectors like space and energy. However, they also approach him with trepidation, especially concerning his notoriously demanding deadlines, which, if not met, could mean job termination. If, so, if somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f*** yourself. Elon Musk's sweeping changes at Twitter demonstrate his Machiavellian management style. After taking control, he drastically reduced the workforce by 80%, despite facing significant media backlash. Musk also implemented a strict review process for engineers, requiring them to submit recent code for evaluation. Failure in these reviews resulted in immediate dismissal. This approach marked a significant shift from the previous management's trust-based laid-back culture to Musk's philosophy, where underperformance was immediately punished. His ruthless streak is further seen in how he handled Koenigsmann at SpaceX. Koenigsmann was one of the first SpaceX engineers and its vice president, but his time at SpaceX ended abruptly after he reported an unauthorized rocket launch to the FAA, as per the legal requirement. Koenigsmann's long-term loyalty and the legality of his actions didn't sway Musk. He fired one of his oldest and most trusted employees through an email stating, you did an awesome job over many years, but everyone's time comes to retire. Yours is now. To be an effective leader, one must command the respect of his troops. This throughout history has been achieved through a combination of inspiring awe and fear. Musk, a student of history, understands this balance and is not hesitant to make ruthless decisions to fulfill his vision. This approach, while often controversial, has been a key factor in his ability to drive unprecedented change and innovation in various industries. There are many other mental models that Elon has used throughout his career, but that is all we have time for today. If you are interested in learning more and want another video on the topic, let me know by liking and hitting the subscribe button. Take care, and until next time.